If you had trouble figuring out that total weight column, you can watch this video now. If you have that total weight column filled in and you're confident in your answers, please stop this video, flip to the back of this page, and watch the next video. So to figure out this total weight column, I have a couple strategies I could use. I could add these two numbers together, which will probably be my most straightforward strategy using my skills I already know. Or if I want to spice it up a little bit, I could either take my backpack weight and multiply by 11 and a half, or I could take my hiker's weight and multiply by 1 and 2 21sts. If I do any of these, I should end up with the same number. I'm only doing this now so you can check your answers. I'm not going to walk through those steps. My first answer for the hiker that weighs 107 pounds and 10 ounces is 117 pounds and 7 eighths of another pound or 14 sixteenths of a pound, 117 pounds, 14 ounces. The next one, 129 pounds and 15 ounces. And we know that the backpack weighs 12 pounds and 6 ounces. That's going to give us 140, 142 pounds and 5 sixteenths of a pound. So 142 pounds, 5 ounces. The next one says 68 pounds, 4 ounces. So 68 pounds and 4 sixteenths of another pound. And I'm adding that to six pounds and eight ounces. That gives me 74 pounds and three quarters of another pound. So in other words, 12 ounces. My very last, or sorry, my next one, 91 pounds and 14 ounces. And I'm adding that to eight pounds and 12 ounces. That gives me 100 pounds and then 5 eighths of another pound. So in other words, 10 ounces. My very last one, you shouldn't even need a calculator to add. And that should be 115 pounds and 0 ounces.